West Indies and Sri Lanka have a well-documented history in T20 internationals. In 2012, it was Sri Lanka West Indies defeated to win the first of two World T20 titles. In 2014, they knocked West Indies out in the semi-finals and went on to win it. Now they meet again to kickstart the preparation for the World T20 in India this October. The shorter the format, the more West Indies become favourites and a short bounce at Coolidge Cricket Ground will be a delight for the power hitters. All three to 20 internationals of the series will be played at the same venue which is hosting international cricket for the first time. Not to mention the majority of the West Indies players just concluded the regional Super 50 where numerous matches were played at Coolidge. Recent history favours West Indies as when they last toured Sri Lanka in March last year, they won both of the T20s. West Indies coach Phil Simmons is also looking at this series as a step to start forming up the squad for the T20 World Cup later this year. The series will also mark the return of the 41-year-old Chris Gale and the 39-year-old Phil Edwards to the West Indies squad. Gale last played for West Indies in the home series against India after the 2019 World Cup, while Edwards' last international appearance was a test in Bangladesh in 2012. Uncapped Guyanese off-spinner Kevin Sinclair could make his debut and partner Fabian Allen in the spin department. Sinclair's role with the new ball and his miserly economy rate is what catapulted him into the squad. With Shimon Hetmeyer absent, Lendl Simmons could drop one to number three, which allows Gale and Evan Lewis to partner, and the dangerous Nicholas Puran at four and possibly skipper Kyron Pollard at five or six. Jason Holder should shoulder and Jay Russell's absence with the ball, while it'll be interesting to see if crafty left-arm pacer Obed McCoy gets to play. Andrew Matthews has been named Sri Lanka's standing captain for the series, as the son Shanaka, the appointed captain, is yet to join the team because of a delay in obtaining a US transit visa. Matthews has previously led Sri Lanka in 34 tests, 106 ODIs and 13 to 20 internationals. The match tomorrow starts at 18 hours, and other 2 to 20 internationals will be played on Friday and Sunday from the same time. For the newsroom, Mark and Green.